What's up there, ghost hunters? I had used a variety of IR lights, and I saw this on Amazon. Not that I needed another one. The uh, Andour uh, company, they do a lot of regular uh, camcorder lights, um, exterior lights, things like that. Um, regular lights, you know, cam just for camcorders and things like that. And this is supposed to be an IR light. And as you can see, it does not look like an IR light at all. And in fact, the reviews were, were horrible. I ordered it anyway. Twenty dollars? Twenty bucks. I think it was twenty-two. I don't know. And I don't know if Andor should be getting in the IR market. I don't know. But tonight, with my Sony AX33, I'm going to go out in our garage or someplace kind of big or maybe around this room. I'm going to put it up against Ghost Stop's Phasm light, which this light is uh, pretty amazing. Um, it... Uh, it's it holds its own in weight. Um, it can be a little f finicky about charging. You got to make sure you use the right charging cables. I'm going to put that Andor light. I'm going to put it up against this. I'm going to put it up against this modded uh, Polaroid light. It used to be called SEMA lights, and I made a battery pack for the back, as you can see it. And I put three double A's in there, rechargeables, and this thing will light up. Uh, yeah, I, I ran it for an hour and a half on the last investigation. This battery pack, I just got the little pigtail for it and put some uh, shrink tape around it. And what it does is the batteries just keep the thing charged, uh, is all. And you can still charge it regularly, or just use a battery pack. Comes off. Just comes off. Just a pigtail. So, so I'm going to put that Andor light up against the three lights as soon as it gets dark. And I'm going to show you each one. Um, as you can see, the Sony just has the one, um, has the. Uh, a regular thing. I'm not going to do double lights or nothing like that. I'm just going to do it. And I'm going to put it to bed. Because like I said, the the Andor lights, um, it's hit and miss. Some of the reviews said it's complete garbage. <laughs> and some said it lit up, you know, lit up, lit up the room. So um, we're going to get started. Let's try it. Okay, just to show you, um, this is the... Um, Sony AX33. This is my living room. It's uh, probably about 10 feet, 15 feet out. It's a pretty big living room and uh, there's my dog right there. I'm just going to do a standalone night vision with all three lights. Let's turn this light out right here. And the cat's eating some cat pee right there. Look at that. So, can't really see it now. So let's, let's go back. I'm not using any, uh, I'm not using any lights yet. So, the first light, the first light that I'm going to use will be the phasm light, and that's going to come up right now. Okay, first up is the phasm light from Ghost Op. Here we go. Okay, here we are with the phasm light from Ghost Op. Okay, we're going to complete darkness. So this is the room here, lit up with one ghost stop phasm light. And there it is. And um, this room's pretty big. And I take uh, usually one um, to give this to give this light a shout out. Man, this thing is pretty amazing. Um, you can usually I usually just use one when I'm investigating. It's all it's up on full blast and um, you get enough lights. I run two on a cage. But let's go ahead and get the uh, the other light out, the, the Kodak one that used to be SEMA with the battery backup. We're gonna do that one next. But as you can see, this is uh, pretty acceptable. On to the next uh, light. Okay, here's the Kodak. And you can see the, the lights are illuminated. And that's the battery pack that I put on the back right there just to help charge it, keep it charged. So didn't have to do any modifications, just an extra pigtail from this little battery box that I bought just to help it keep charged, no other modifications. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, try it right now. Okay, as you can see, The Kodak light is almost as, uh, just about as good as the Phasm light. 
just about. The, the only thing about the Phasm light is it has a, a multiple colors you can use. I like to shoot in red, sometimes blue. But uh, this used to be the SEMA lights, and now they're Kodak, and I have a couple of these. If you can find these on eBay, these old Kodaks, these old red little things, um, buy them. Uh, they're really good IR lights and the longevity. And there's a bolt. That's my German short hair pointer, checking everything out. He's wanting to go out. So that's this one here. And uh, that's my, my living room. Like I said, it's pretty big. There's the stairs right there and some something, a couple guitars I have on the wall, and a big screen TV. So that's this light right here. And we're gonna put the Andoer light on next. And I can't wait to see this. I cannot wait to see this. Hey boat, what's happening? Okay, and here's the Andoer light right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. I'm gonna show you the back. So it's got a, there's the Andoer right there. You can see it's got, it's got the lights. So we're gonna turn this on. There's your four lights. And you got a little bit of purple glow there. Could that be UV? Huh. Well, we're gonna know in a couple seconds. So I'm gonna take you back in the living room. Here we go. Here we go. Well, what do you know? What do you know? Look at this. And I've still got four blue bars in the back. So listen guys and girls and ghost hunters, I paid $22 for this. Maybe it was 24, I don't remember, maybe 20 bucks. There's both. So if anybody says, um, yeah, it only shows two inches or three inches, then maybe they were using a shitty camera or something. So any IR camera, I mean, look at this. This is crazy for 24 bucks. It's not the Phasm light. Yeah, I get it. It's not. You know, Phasm light uses multiple colors. I like it. But for, a, for an entry level um, UV light, I may just take this on my next investigation. Um, so, you know, there you go. And again, it's an internal battery. Uh, I give it five stars. Works just as good as any of the, of the other ones. And you have four blue lights on the back. I showed you the picture of it. So it'll show you as it goes down to the rain, it's actually pretty good. And uh, there's Sammy and Sam, Bolt, what are you guys doing? So. Yeah, they're fighting now. Anyway, hey. This is Sean with Gold Coast and Beyond, Andoer Light, Video Light, Entry Level Light. Um, <laughs> there you go, we're in complete darkness, man. These dogs are going nuts. Uh, thumbs up, um, buy it. I'm not affiliated with them, but uh, it has my vote. Take care, happy hunting.